Welcome to Coach Magic, the show for the woman who is all in on creating a life, business, and family that's beyond her wildest dreams. I'm Jenny Fennig, and I am so excited to help you get confident, focused, and paid. Let's rewrite the rules and get moving in the direction of your deepest desires. Ready, set, go. Hey there, Jenny here. Welcome to Coach Magic. How are you? We just wrapped up spring break here. And that experience of how your life just shifts when your regular schedule is not happening inspired this episode with a theme of the life-changing magic of letting go. So settle in. You may hear my dogs in the background. We'll see. I'm not recording this in my office. Typically, I'm in my office. I'm in another room of the house, which we call the library. And I see my dog, Benny. He He's a corgi. And he, he's so cute when he sits. There's this way that corgis sit with their little legs behind them. And it's called a sploot. And he's splooting right now with his rest. And my other dog, Winnie's in her bed while my daughter, Kate, is upstairs cleaning her room and the rest of the family, my sons and my husband are out. So I found a window and we're, I'm like jumping through the window to be able to share this message with you. So yeah, spring break, the regular schedule that we have does not apply. And it's so important I've found to be able to let go because the way it normally works is not working during a vacation like that. And it's not easy because I'm used to this one particular method, this one particular way. But then once I embrace it, it's actually quite glorious, not needing to get up and out every morning to get the kids off to school, make lunches, all of it. And so I want to simply open up this dialogue today around the energy of letting go, the spirit of letting go, the life-changing magic of letting go. What have you let go of lately that actually was amazing to let go of? What have you let go of that felt extraordinarily challenging? And maybe you missed the old way. For many of us, we might be experiencing, obviously, we're all getting older. Aging is is part of being human. There's different ways to go about that. But for many of us, we might be experiencing aging parents parents getting into those later years and certain health situations. I have many clients whose parents have passed away in the last few years. We're experiencing big, big health crises. And there is this energy of letting go that needs to occur to be able to embrace what is, deal with what is. It doesn't make it easy. It simply allows your body to settle in. We really need to look at how we're tending to our nervous systems as we move through our days, move through our lives. There's also a letting go for those of us with kids uh, because our kids change. I had two of my children experience birthdays this month and one has turned 10 and the other has turned 13. And they are not as little as they once were. It's a different time. And if I was expecting them to be exactly the same, that would not be. It was fascinating last night, actually. I was looking at my phone. I was looking at my pictures. And I have an iPhone. And it will organize photos in little kind of vignettes and say, here are you know summer memories or here's memories about this one particular child and from a particular year. And I was clicking the button and watching these pictures scroll through to a beautiful music track. And it was, I mean, some of the memories I had forgotten until the photos showed up on the screen. So there, there is this beautiful letting go process when we march through life and when time marches on. And so I encourage you to celebrate this letting go and to ask yourself, how could you embrace it a bit more? How could you 
have a bit more of a ritual around the letting go process. The surrender certainly helps, as does different tools to regulate your nervous system and really reflect and contemplate on the changes that have transpired and who you are today versus who you were yesterday. We bring some of who we were yesterday into who we are today and who will be tomorrow. And letting go is a part of that whole journey. Another element I want to bring forth now is my sister. You've heard me talk about her on this podcast. Her 43rd birthday just happened. And I was, (laughs) oh my gosh, I'm like thinking about this right now, what I want to say. So she was four years younger than me. She passed away when she was 12 and her birthday just occurred. And I have to say, if you've experienced deaths of people that you really care about in your life, I'm not sure if this relates, if you can relate to this, but her birthday has historically been a more joyful, quote, easy day for me, easier day for me than the day that she passed away. There's like a different energy attached. It's quite fascinating. And so as her birthday was rolling around, I was feeling that joy. I was remembering, like my body was remembering, I think this is a piece of it, how happy I felt when she was born. I had this big wish. I wanted a younger sister, a baby sister. I didn't ask for a baby brother, asked for a baby sister. And fortunately, that wish came true. And so I feel like when her birthday rolls around every year, my body remembers that joy I felt when she was born of my wish came true. My baby sister is here. And I think about the memories that we shared and just who she was in the world and the light that she carried and just everything that that she brought, everything that she brought. And so on that day, uh, her birthday is April 20th. We decided that morning, actually, to go see a production of Frozen Junior that was in our at one of our local theaters here. My husband had mentioned it. We hadn't quite gotten our weekend schedule together because we're on the spring break and everything's like thrown up in the air. And I look online to say, okay, when could we go that works? And we actually decided we would go that day. Like literally we needed to leave within the hour. (laughs) So we woke up my daughter said, guess what? We're going to Frozen Junior. And it was spectacular. It was so spectacular. We ended up knowing two of the actors in the production. It was totally cast with children. It was an all children's production, hence Frozen Junior. We knew the actor playing little Anna and we knew the actor playing Anna. And it was fascinating for me watching the interplay between Anna and Elsa this is a Disney, you might have seen the movie, you know, the the story around the sisters. And I was just, I I wasn't even thinking about that when we were buying the tickets for the show. I just thought, oh, this will be nice. I feel like my daughter would enjoy it. And let's go do this. And then I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, this is about sisters and sisterhood and what we do for our sisters and the love that we share. And also recognizing our own power and not being afraid of our power and and using it in ways to make the world better and to really have confidence around that and joy around that and the journey of getting there, right? And if you could have seen me, I'm, I'm literally in the audience, just tears streaming down my face during various scenes. It touched me so deeply. And of course, there's that song. What's the song of Frozen? Let it go let it go. And here we are with the theme of this episode, the life-changing magic of letting go. If you've ever seen that movie or if you've seen the show ever being performed, like how does that song make you feel? What does it make you feel? It's profound. It's deep. And so what is it that you need to let go of? Again, my intent with this podcast is to help activate something in you. And so every time you listen a shift occurs, another room gets unlocked, right? You have the key, you're like, ooh, 
here it is, okay? Because for many of us, we get twisted up inside. It, it was like a jumble of, of knots because the world can kind of twist us into that. And so what I'm doing is helping to activate something in you, that power inside of you. So you keep moving in the direction that you're meant to move in your work, in your messaging, in the kind of money that you're making, in the relationships that you are nurturing, and how you're taking care of yourself, all of it. Okay? So, so important. I heard something recently. I've been involved in this really, really powerful program, this just immersive, wow, (laughs) that's the best way I can describe it. And I heard this story that I then kind of did a little digging on myself, a little research just to find out more because I found it so captivating and fascinating that I want to share with you. And it's this, that at the end of our lives, like our eyes can be closed. Like if you've ever been with someone at the time of death or know that you will eventually will get there yourself, but the heart can stop. And the eyes are closed. And yet the brain, there's activity in the brain for an additional seven minutes. There's research now to, to prove this so they can, they can monitor brain activity. And I want you to contemplate that. This final seven minutes, like what has been discovered is that this final seven minutes is when we basically have this highlight reel of our lives. And We're not fitting everything into that seven minutes, are we? Because we've already been here for a lot longer than seven minutes. And so if you think about your life right now, what would go in that seven minutes? Does that feel right to you? Is that something that's really exciting for you? The last seven minutes. What's going on that highlight reel? What do you want to add to that highlight reel if you haven't experienced it yet? What's it going to be? Be intentional with this. Isn't that profound? It's like, did you ever watch that show, Six Feet Under? That's essentially what that final episode shows. If, you ever, if you've ever seen the show, I'm just thinking about that right now. That was one of the most profound shows I've ever seen. I was obsessed. And it's that, like all of those scenes, scene by scene by scene by scene by scene. What are those scenes going to be for you? All right, just... Deep thoughts, <laughs> deep thoughts today. I, know what, I want to give a shout out to Melanie and Lair. I have been involved in several of her programs over the last, I'd say, year ish. She is the creator of Alpha Femme, and it, what she's created is is spectacular and profound and just quite wow. I was just involved with her um, Femme Fatale program, and it was just extraordinary. And I learned that from her. She shared that in one of the modules. And I just been contemplating it recently and wanted to share that with you to have you think about the implications in your own life. Like, what does that motivate you to do? There's something you keep saying, I'm, I want to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say that. I'm going to experience that. But you haven't yet. And you keep finding excuses for why you can't. Or what's holding you back? Like, it's now time. It's now time to make a shift, to make a move. Okay? And uh, let me know what what you do here. Get in touch with me. Send me a DM. Send me a message. Let me know where you are. All right? Another letting go piece that I wanted to share is related to my retreat the Oasis Retreat in Costa Rica. I don't know if you saw that we had been promoting this for quite some time. Well, not quite some time. It's a few months. I and my friend and longtime colleague, Christine Gallagher, had decided to host this retreat. And in fact, we were supposed to be there right now. Like right now, right now when I'm recording this and when it will publish we were we were going. We had booked space at this incredible spot in Costa Rica where I have hosted many, many, many retreats through the years. And 
as we came together, we decided we were doing this. We got the location. We got the dates. We figured out the the flow, the name of the retreat, all of it. And we started banging the drum around it and putting it out there and, and doing the things that you need to do to get a retreat out there. And it just became clear to her and I that it the timing just wasn't right. The timing was not right for this retreat. There was an energetic mismatch, I think, would be the best way to describe it. And and her and I, we came together around that eventually where we just said it was like it was like the Frozen song, Let It Go. Let it go. Let it go. And it was interesting for me because I had never canceled a retreat before outside of COVID. I had an event that I had to cancel when COVID came calling. And I needed to cancel that, which was also hard. But this this was the first time outside of that. And I used to produce a ton of conferences back in the day. I've had so many live events, retreats, gatherings, et cetera. And it was so fascinating for me because I needed to deal with my own ego around like, oh, you're canceling. And what does that mean? And it was just, I got to this point where I said, it means that we're being honest about where we are and actually what our future looks like. I had things happening in my life. She had things going on in hers. And it just became clear this retreat actually at this time doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. And so he said, let's let's cancel it. It's okay. And if it's meant to happen again down the line, we'll know. And I share that with you just to take you a little bit behind the scenes on certain certain decisions. You're allowed to let go. There are other times where you dig in and you hold on and you do your part and you see it to the finish line. And one, honestly, is not better than the other. I've learned that, too. There are times when letting it go is absolutely the wise move. And maturity is knowing which is which. And that takes discernment and and certainly having sounding boards, a coach, a mentor, a guide can very much help, can very much help. And I want to celebrate this concept of letting go. There's a lot that is to be said about holding on. And there's a lot to be said about letting go, letting go, because who will you be after you get to the other side of that letting go decision? What kind of space does that open up? What kind of space does that open up? Look at what helps me is is when I think about that decision and do I exhale thinking about making it as we're going to let go here. Do I exhale? Yes. Or do we need to hold on? And I'm, I'm exhaling thinking about holding on like, yes, we're going to hold on. Look to see how your body is responding as you contemplate certain decisions. That very much is an indicator, very much an indicator. It was fascinating for me regarding that particular decision because I love to travel. And so a piece of me hosting retreats and deciding where they're going to be is I I know I'm going to get some of my travel fix in intended to. And as soon as I saw this decision needing to be made, it was like, hey, you got to pay attention to me. And it was almost like that Joseph Campbell quote, the 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 cave you fear to enter contains the treasure that you seek, you know, of like, oh my gosh, I have to cancel this thing. Like, what does that mean? And recognizing it just means that something needed to change. You got new information, you needed to change it. You needed to change a particular plan. Okay. And so What's been fascinating is then this year has turned out to be a huge travel year for me, even without that Costa Rica retreat happening in April of 2024. I've already had some really amazing trips and I have so many planned and scheduled. And that feels joyful and honest and real. And I know that how I'm moving forward in my business now is just different than how I used to do it. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And I can honor those reasons. And so I hope that you honor wherever you are, whatever reasons 
tune into the particular season that you're in and flow with it. I want to share this quote. Uh, well, it's not really a quote. It's really a poem. I've played this for clients before. As, at retreats, I've turned on, I'll find this in audio format and just play it for them. And it's just extraordinary. So if you like it, you could go search for it. It's called She Let Go by Sapphire Rose. That's S-A-F-I-R-E Rose. And I will read it to you now. And I encourage you to simply take it in and see what comes up for you as you hear this. She let go. She let go. Without a thought or a word, she let go. She let go of the fear. She let go of the judgments. She let go of the confluence of opinions swarming around her head. She let go of the committee of indecision within her. She let go of all the right reasons. Wholly and completely without hesitation or worry, she just let go. She didn't ask anyone for advice. She didn't read a book on how to let go. She didn't search the scriptures. She just let go. She let go of all the memories that held her back. She let go of all the anxiety that kept her from moving forward. She let go of the planning and all of the calculations about how to do it just right. She didn't promise to let go. She didn't journal about it. She didn't write the projected date in her day timer. She made no public announcement and put no ad in the paper. She didn't check the weather report or read her daily horoscope. She just let go. She didn't analyze whether she should let go. She didn't call her friends to discuss the matter. She didn't do a five-step spiritual mind treatment. She didn't call the prayer line. She didn't utter one word. She just let go. No one was around when it happened. There was no applause or congratulations. No one thanked her or praised her. No one noticed a thing. Like a leaf falling from a tree, she just let go. There was no effort. There was no struggle. It wasn't good, and it wasn't bad. It was what it was, and it is just that. In the space of letting go, she let it all be. A small smile came over her face. A light breeze blew through her, and the sun and the moon shone forevermore. <sighs> Deep breath. That was She Let Go by Sapphire Rose, and I loved reading those words. Wow. Before we wrap, an invitation for you. Here's the deal. Here's the truth. This isn't your first rodeo. Whether you've been in business for decades or for a few years, I know you're seasoned and you are good at a lot of things. You've also come to realize that not everything is worth your time, especially because you love getting paid well and you have a life outside of work that demands your attention. You have people who love you and want to spend time with you when you're present, not tethered to your phone. This is where you have to commit to answering and living the question, what is the highest and best use of you to leave your mark on the world? You want to feel the truth of this in your bones and in your bank account. We need more money in the hands of women. This is good for us personally. This is good for our families. And this is good for society. The way forward is not through overworking and being in a constant state of overwhelm and resentment. The way forward is not through starting too many projects and never finishing. The way forward is not through doubting yourself. It's through wisely saying no. So there is only space for the sacred yes. That catapults your energy to a whole new level, attracting soul-aligned clients, opportunities, ideas, and confidence to be your most magnetic you. Welcome to the highest and best master class. This is your official invitation. I would love to have you with us. You can find out more at jennyfennig.com slash highest. You will see what we're doing, how this masterclass is designed. Essentially, it is a two-hour live masterclass on Tuesday, April 30th. And replay access, if you can't get there live, that's fine. You'll watch the replay 
after we wrap the master class and you get all of this powerful energy and ideas and you're going to be ready to to move and 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 ride that wave i'm going to help you ride that wave because we're going to spend then 7 days in a private boxer channel i love this tool called voxer it's one of my tools that i use in my business and my clients we really enjoy it and in that private channel i'm going to share potent audio messages short and sweet but potent all right to inspire bold action because we are going to be kicking up a lot of good stuff in that master class and so my idea here my desire my my intention is that we come together for that master class you get this fresh look on what is the highest and best use of you to leave your mark on the world we're going to be letting go of course and we're going to be really lasering in on here's what i'm doing here's how i'm moving and then you're going to move you're going to move and so i'm going to hold that space for seven days and it's going to be awesome and if this is calling out to you, you should come. Be a part of it. All right. JennyFennig.com slash highest. Come and join us. It's going to be rad. All right. So that is that. I have loved connecting with you today. Thanks for being part of this conversation. Letting go. The life-changing magic of letting go. I'm wondering where this will take you next. This is Jenny Fennig for Coach Magic. I'll talk to you again soon.